In this video, I'm going to show you how I would use Neuron Writer to further optimize old content. Uh, this is a amazing tool that you can use that uses what's called NLP or natural language processing. If you want to check out my full review of it, just check it out on the channel. It's, it's around there somewhere. But uh, regardless, I wanted to show you exactly how I use Neuron Writer in order to further optimize content uh, that might already already exist on the internet and how we can try to get it from maybe the bottom of page one or page two and get it on the first page of Google. But before we get started, I do want to make you aware that Neuron Writer is available over on AppSumo.com. Right now, $59 for a lifetime deal. I'm always a sucker for a lifetime deal. So if you can if you want to give a uh, neuron writer a try, be sure to go to bloggerevolution.com slash writer. That's bloggerevolution.com slash writer. I will put a link. It'll be the first link down in the description and probably the first pinned comment as well. So that you can give it a try. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. A lot of tools that are very similar to neuron writer are going to cost you this much money per month or more, but uh, $59 one time, never have to pay for it again. And you're going to get all of the amazing things that I'm about to show you with how to uh, optimize your content. So be sure to go Go check that out down in the description bloggerevolution.com slash neuron writer now once you are uh, signed up and you're ready to go with neuron writer let's go ahead and log in and uh, you see i already have a website up but i wanted to show you how to do this from scratch so let's go ahead and create a new project so um if you don't have if you are just going with the bottom tier with the app sumo deal you can only have one project but you can add and subtract those projects as much as you'd like so just go ahead and include a website that you'd like to uh, go with. So I'm just going to go with um, bowlingball.com and then click on next for new project. And we're going to click on create. And uh, now we have a new project. I'm going to click on a new query. And the new query here is going to be are bowling shoes required okay so it's going to be the uh the keyword that we are trying to rank for let's go ahead and click on start while that's going uh let's go to the the google page right here so our bowling shoes required is the first one um according to the keyword search looks like it gets uh, not keyword search but keywords everywhere it gets 140 view uh, page views per month or searches per month which is pretty good um so what we'll do is uh, go ahead and go for it and when we google the phrase you see um this is what we have we have a feature snippet here at the top we have spare time bowling here quora live healthy so we're going to use the example of maybe we're at the bottom of page one so this article right here how bowling.com are bowling shoes required to pay play so perhaps you have this article right here and you're trying to get it to number one so you would need to uh, be more relevant and a better article than what's already ranking number one for this particular keyword term so i'm going to take the url of this one right here let's go back to neuron writer and uh, let's click on the word here it's going to run it's uh, uh it's, it's analysis of the first 30 articles that rank for this particular keyword term are bowling shoes required and uh, give us you know our the, the best bet of what it would normally look like now usually when you google a phrase like this you know you would click on the first result and see just how good that first result is and then uh, when you go to let's look at this first one spare time bowling Let's see if it comes up. There you go. So as you can see here, the writing is a little small. I wish it was a little bigger. The article is not that long. Uh, let's just see how long this article is. Right click and work, word plus 568 words. So this is ranking number one, which is usually a pretty good indication that if we hit this with a thousand word, maybe 1200 word post, we should be able to uh, uh, outrank it relatively easily. Um, now we would do that. Obviously, I would ignore Cora, but uh, LiveHealthyCron.com. Uh, this is a very short article as well. I'm not even gonna worry about the word and count here. It's probably like what, maybe two or three hundred words. Um, but I would normally just dig into each one just to see what my competition looks like, right? But with Neuron Writer, it does that for us. It's looking at the content score that they have based on the keywords that it's found with its NLP analysis the length of these articles as well as um you know the page titles and the url for, for these particular articles as well so this first one spare time bowling i could click on it and it'll pull up that same article that we just saw earlier so that's super duper helpful um then on the left side here for select i'm going to go ahead and uncheck all because i'm not going to want to uh, uh 
optimize against certain articles. I want to make sure that the article that I'm optimizing against is going to be uh, basically what I'm looking for in terms of trying to get it to rank. That's where search intent is a big uh, deal that you have to keep in mind. So do you really need bowling shoes? You know, that's pretty much what we're asking here with our bowling shoes required. So let's go ahead and check that one. Our bowling shoes, uh, our bowling alleys require, sorry, why bowling alleys require shoes? I guess I'd go with that one as well. Why do bowling alleys require you to wear bowling shoes? That's Cora, so I'm gonna ignore. Usually I ignore like forums and stuff like that. Um, why are bowling shoes necessary? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and include that one. Are you allowed to bowl without shoes? That would be a question that's probably you would normally have. Um, why do you have to wear bowling shoes? Sure, why not? Why do you use bowling shoes? Can you bowl without shoes? That's pretty good. I'm not going to go with too many. I normally like to, I don't want the whole 10. I might go with six, seven, eight max usually because um, once you get too far down the line, especially if you get to like what I would say, you know, page two, then the results really start to get skewed and you don't want to optimize against garbage content that's already out there. So once I've chosen a few of these, I'm going to go ahead and click on next and it's now going to run its analysis again based on uh, the articles that I have chosen so far. And uh, here we go. So now it pops up. Um, right now there's nothing here, but it's going to give us a content score of zero because there's nothing in our article. Now here's where the magic happens with uh, being able to optimize old content. So I would click on import and then just drop the URL of the article. This would be, if this was my website, this would be the, art, the URL to my article so that I can um, um, bring in that content and then use it to optimize. So there's some pretty cool things here. Remove the following elements from script. So you wanna remove these types of things because it's going to look really weird if you don't. So I like to strip out the images, strip out uh, any forms or, or graphs or anything like that, uh, any font style, stuff like that. Just take all of that out because I really just want the raw content. And then once I have it done, then I can copy and paste it back into WordPress and then re you know uh, uh, format it to make it look the way that I want. Um, usually I find the, uh, the default values here are just fine so leave it to where it is and click import so now it just ran and grabbed uh, that article and uh, it gave me a score here you know based on everything that we have so far so with this information here you see here that um, the article already is 300 words more than what it recommends in order to rank for this particular keyword, which is a good sign, right? So, um, but it, for whatever reason, it's still not ranking better because as of right now, this article is still ranking number nine and we'd rather be number one. You know, they're the one that's getting the most traffic. So uh, from here, it did copy the table of contents. I'm gonna go ahead and just take out the table of contents. You don't really need that. I just want the article itself. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. There you go, <laughs> article itself. Now, here's where the magic happens as well when it comes to Neuron Writer. So if you look over here on the right side, you can see that your, com your competitors, the top result has a 48. The top 10 result averages about 50. Seven out of the top 10 have at least a 50. So what we would need to do is from here, now look on this right side and all of these keywords here that are green, we're, we're good. We are, we've already used it enough times in order for it to be well optimized for that keyword based on the length of our article. Now, other words that we might want to include, for example, um, bowling shoes, bowling alley, and bowl, these seem to be, they're in yellow, which, seems, which means that they are probably either not used enough or used too much. Um, I will caution you, there is a point of diminishing returns with this. You don't want to worry so much about getting it perfect because if you try to get it perfect, you're going to spend way too much time on one article and you would really need to determine if spending that much time with an article is worth is worth it for what you're going to get if you were to rank number one for it in the first place. So, um, for example, bowling shoe, if you're talking about are bowling shoes required to play bowling, I mean, you would kind of need to use the phrase bowling shoes quite often within the article. So that, that just makes sense. But these gray ones, these gray ones are the ones that are not being used in the article at all. All right. At all. Which means this is opportunity that I can now create more content within my existing post to include these types of keywords, all right? So for example, I don't use the word rent at all in this article. And when you click on it, it does give you a little bit of information 
in terms of um, the usage, how it was used, where it was used. And 85% of competitors use this term in the text. 14% um, of competitors use this term in an H2 header. So it's giving me good information regarding it. So I would gen then just look at my article and then try to find a way I can kind of shoehorn this uh, word or phrase in the article, but doing so as naturally as possible. That's the real key here because you don't want to make it seem like you're trying to game the system. So there is a thin line there that you need to be careful of. So as I'm looking at these, I'm looking for the word rent. Are bowling shoes required to play bowling? Um, okay, so based on that, you know, these are separate paragraphs. It is just a requirement. Consider it to be just as important as a bowling ball or bowling pins. Um, the game is incomplete with bowling shoes. The game is incomplete with bowling shoes. That's a weird sentence, right? <laughs> so I'm probably going to um, take that one out. But um, for example, here, um, it says consider it to be just as important as bowling balls and bowling pins. And then I would probably infuse my own story in here. So when I rent bowling shoes so notice i use the word rent so now this is going to go up at some point when i rent bowling shoes i try my best to get some that feel the best and do not hurt my feet and that is why bowling balls vary and yada yada, yada. but again notice how it, it i try to do that as naturally as possible and i'm good right here in terms of the word for rent um street shoes so street shoes is not being used if i click it i see 57 percent of competitors use the term in text so half of the people of the eight that i chose earlier half of them use the word street shoes in here so um i can do something benefits of wearing bowling shoes versus street shoes Right. So that's a good example right there where I would now include that into the article. And you see, I went ahead and it's turned green and my content score has gone up a couple of points. So, um, oh, one thing that I like to do as well, I meant to tell you this as well. This these are the terms for the article itself. But if you go to terms in headers, then these are terms that are not being used in headers. So the art of Tyler's article is are bowling shoes required to play bowling? Um, where the word allowed to bowl and wearing bowling shoes are not included. Um, so you want to be very careful because you don't want to just stuff, you know, the keywords in there. I'm probably just going to leave it be because it's pretty much what I need. You know, what it is right now is fine. Now, the H2 terms would be my subheading. So what are bowling shoes? Are bowling shoes required? Things like that. So make a difference would be pretty good and you see that the percentage on it is high which means that you know uh, uh at least of the eight or so people that i chose before um you know a lot of uh, what two or three of them used that in their header so are bowling shoes required to play bowling um and hold on buddy i'm almost done and then i'm gonna be putting parentheses does it make a difference and as you can see, just by putting in this one thing, it increased my score from 61 to 64, which is a good sign. Um, final thoughts, like, okay, so for example, final thoughts, right? That's a word that it doesn't really make a difference. I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't include that unless I just really had a final thoughts. I use con conclusion in this article. So it doesn't make a difference. I, I wouldn't put final thoughts in there because that just seems weird, right? It, it needs to make sense. So that's something that you need to be very, very careful of. Um, all right. Interestingly enough, let's look at uh, safety first. That seemed like something that would be interesting to include. Use bowling ball shoes for bowling advantage. Cleaning bowling ball shoes for... Nah. I would say for safety, but it wouldn't be safety first. Um, let's continue going at the headers. Final thoughts. I'm not going to worry about that one. Bowling alleys. Um, benefits of wearing bowling shoes versus street shoes. Are bowling shoes required to play? What are bowling shoes? Pairs of bowling shoes. What are bowling shoes? Final thoughts. Safety first. Yeah, I'm not going to really worry about it. So I think the headers are fine. Um, from based on what we've done so far let's go ahead and click back on the terms in the article so um what else we have here go bowling own slick okay i did see the word slick in here didn't i i thought i did slide strip 
now if you if you have got your if you have got your bowling shoes okay so <laughs> it seems like the article that i chose doesn't seem like it was it has the best wording because some of these sentences that we found so far are pretty bad so it wouldn't surprise me if this is like some ai content that someone created and just didn't um didn't care and just for that that's probably why they're ranking number nine now that we look at it but still regardless uh stopping at the right time reduce risk of oh here's okay reduce risk of injury it was it did say safety first should be in the in the header our safety first down there i'm going to go ahead and include it so reduce risk of injury experiencing jerks and stops while taking a shot means that you are going to be prone to sudden injuries so going bowling let's see always remember safety first so going for yada yada and then it's included in the article and that's a good sign so i'm um, wearing street shoes um that's extended one so different between extended these are po basic is popular items typically used when writing about this topic extended would be use the following terms to broaden the content to have an advantage over your competitors so if you need to lengthen out, out an article using these keywords would be helpful um if you just need to have the basic part of the article then these will be the best ones to use as well so stopping at the right time use bowling shoes for bowling advantage um, I'm going to be honest, this is not the greatest article in the world that I see it's going to have choose, but chosen, but it was kind of random just so I can show you exactly how I would optimize some content. But um, debris, slick. All right. So we were talking about safety earlier, right? So always remember safety first and um, we were talking, okay, safety first because bowling shoes can be very slick they can also pick up massive amounts of debris so clean them often okay so we're just you see here we're just knocking out these words um bowling shoes also Oh, okay, so this is an example. Bowling shoes also. So instead of saying they, I can say bowling shoes also pick up massive amounts of, and then now I've included that. Um, we did talk about rent earlier. So just try to find rent. So what I'm doing now is just hitting Command F or Control F and then typing the word and then it finds it in the article for me. So when I rent bowling shoes, I try my best to get some that feel the best and do not hurt my feet. Um, you always have the option of buying your own bowling shoes now i'm using the word own here so that's going to come right there um let make sure that this is spelled right bowling shoes when you go bowling that might be a little bit much right there your bowling shoes when you go bowling or maybe just say you buy your own shoes when you go bowling especially if you bowl often Right. and leave it as such so we have a uh, bowl often we've used that one um i did use the word what was it rent earlier right here so when i rent bowling shoes i try my best to and just again just trying to see where i can kind of creatively include some of these keywords so um interchangeable souls rental I'm trying to use the word rental. So uh, you always have the option of buying your own shoes when you go bowling, especially if you bowl often. Otherwise, you will always be stuck using the bowling alleys rental service for shoes, which can get quite expensive all right and again just kind of infusing my own little you know 
personality into this so that it makes the most sense. Um, let's go back down bowling shoes fit. Uh, okay, so the word sock is not being used. So um, if your main goal is to become a bowling professional wearing shoes, this is definitely written by AI content because that doesn't make any sense. Um, wearing house shoes with socks is not the right way. Um, is that the right way to go? And you see, I put socks with an S, but it still counted it right there. If you click it, I believe, you know, it just says sock, but, or socks number one, terms we match in the following forms. So perfect. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, the fact that it knew that it was a plural form of the, of the word and it, it didn't matter. Um, bowling shoes, these shoes maximize performance. And I'm going to use this one right here. So slippery and traction. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to use that one. So, uh, maximize performance, um, good fitting shoes also prevent, uh, traction problems with being too slippery or the other side of the spectrum being too sticky. All right, so uh, just make sure I spell spectrum right. All right, um, this is something. Oh no, I, I'll leave this as it is. Um, left handed, I'm trying to figure out. I mean, I'm talking about bowling shoes. Um, maybe I can say something to the effect of it doesn't matter if you're left or right handed. You know, um, let's uh, swift motion. Let's go over here. What are bowling shoes? So this one might be helpful. Um, bowling shoes are, well, shoes in the sense that they are quite similar to, instead, okay, instead of casual shoes, as long as it's not another word up here, I'll say as a, as similar to sneakers. And I've used that word, um, regular shoes, um, whereas bowling shoes are made to achieve swift bowling throw movements for the best shots regardless of if you are right or left handed all right and again i'm just using the word left handed now i'm including right there um let's see the next one i'm trying to look for is interchangeable soles so bowling shoes fit use bowling shoes cleaning bowling shoes so interchangeable soles if i change the soles of a shoe obviously that would be something that i would be interested in right so um cleaning bowling shoes out before their time um a lot of now granted i know a little bit about bowling shoes so that's why i can create this content because i do know i am a, a bowling nerd but um a lot of bowling Soles are no, all the way. I want to use interchangeable soles. A lot of bowling shoes have interchangeable soles, which means you can um, have your main shoes last longer. All right. Um, there you go. So affiliate, I'm not going to use affiliate because obviously that's a word that it just happened to find on those articles, but it has nothing to do with our article. So again, you have to use a little bit of common sense with this different alleys. Yeah, maybe, but if I scroll up, I'm up to 74 now. Um, and that's without being, you know, too crazy with it. Uh, ideas. If I click on that, then I have the H2, the H3 from other articles. I can click on YouTube, click get YouTube ideas. That's going to pull, um, you know, articles based on that search term, you know, bowling tips. Um, do you have to wear bowling shoes? So give us a couple of ideas, maybe of additional things we can we can uh, include. Let's go back to the content terms. I didn't find anything interesting in there. Now, if I wanted to extend this article a little bit more, I'm already 500 words more than what they recommend. So I'm probably OK with where I am right now with this. Um, all right, so for dirt and debris, I remember using the word debris earlier, right? So I could say the amount of dirt and debris and just add that in there. And now I've used that term in the article, right? You see how simple that was just to add that. And it doesn't change the article. It doesn't change the sentence. It's still, in fact, it enhances it, right? And it gives Google more context as to what the article is about. Um, affect your game. That seems like something that I'd want to include, right? So um, 
what are bowling shoes? Regular bowling shoes are made with the idea that they will, uh, that, let's see, so regular bowling shoes can affect your game because they will provide more. Boom. So you see, I just kind of just reworded that and now it's, it's in there. Um, Velcro gum shoe size. So I, I talked about perfect fit earlier, right? I want to make sure that the shoes fit. I use fit a few times. Oh, that's benefits, but shoes fit, custom bowling shoes fit as design. So from here, I can say, um, custom bowling shoe size fit design and wear. you know again just make it sound natural um tennis shoes renting shoes okay renting shoes let's find that when i rent shoes let's see renting shoes eh, i'm gonna not worry about that one bowling center allowed to bowl that's an interesting one um So allowed to bowl. By now, you must have understood what bowling shoes are. Ah, that's just redundant, and I hate that sentence. All right, require you oh, tennis shoes, bowling without. Um, you understand, you, you have understood that you are not allowed to bowl without them. And I'm just going to get rid of this other portion of it right there. And again, I'm over at 76 now. Now, again, uh, this is where you would need to kind of decide if you want to continue optimizing and if it's worth continuing to optimize because uh, what real value is this article going to bring me? Is this a real high authority keyword that's going to get a lot of traffic and make a lot of money for the blog or for the business? Then maybe I'd want to max this out to 90 if I could, right? But if this is just going to be an article that's just going to be sitting there, that's going to give me some ad revenue, you know, based on where it is. That means it's going to be earning me hopefully 20, 30 bucks a month, you know, on what it's doing. Then it may not be worth trying to go ahead and uh, making sure that you optimize it, you know, to the hilt. But this might be good enough. Remember when we first started, we were at about 59 or 60. Now we're at 76 and we could just continue doing this exact same thing. And this article now is a little more fuller. It's a little more uh, uh, direct and talking about more topics. And now I could just copy and paste this into WordPress and then let it sit. Um, usually I let, like to let articles sit for at least three to four months before I actually touch them again, because I want to give Google the maximum amount of time possible um, for them to start testing where it needs to go. Because you don't want to edit an article before Google's done doing that kind of thing, because then you might just screw it up and have to start all over again from the from the beginning. But that's basically what I would do in optimizing content. You can then save this article and it's going to be there for whenever you want it. Then you just copy and paste it into your WordPress and, and put your pictures back. If you have any YouTube videos you want to include, you do all of that fun stuff and get the article back out there on Google, the updated version of the article. So that's this is really where this NLP really comes in handy is being able to look at all of these articles that are already on the front page of Google, what keywords and terms they're using so that you know what keywords and terms you should be using in your article as well. So um, hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions at all, please let me know down in the comments. Also, be sure to go check out and give Neuron Writer a try. These deals do not last at all. So if you are on the fence about getting it, I definitely recommend using the link down in the description, bloggerrevolution.com slash writer, getting Neuron Writer, because if you don't get it and it's gone, you know, it's not going to come back. Usually these things are show up for a little while and then they're gone forever. All right. So Neuron Writer, bloggerevolution.com slash writer. Give it a try. It's only $59. If you went with the first tier, if you did go with the second or third tier, I went with the third tier because I think this is an amazing tool. Um, you can go ahead and do that as well. So thanks so much for checking this out and I'll catch you in the next video.